So what I've got here is two pheasant crowns out of the freezer. So I'm going to do I'm just quickly going to breast meat off them. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with them for preparation. So I'm going to do simply cut our breast bone each side and take this off, take this meat away. Simple process, let me just move that one. You build to it knife, going down breast. That's as simple to do. Just cut it away. Coming off bone, lovely. Maximise all that meat. And there you go. A simple process. I'll show you on the other side. Cut as close to breast bone as you can get. Maximise that meat off it. Still slightly frozen this, so I need to just let it defrost for another 10-15 minutes before I can do what I want to do with it. Bit of skin there. I'm not wanting to play a ball. Pull it off, that's it. So that's it, one piece of carcass. I'll do the other one. But all I've essentially got is two pieces of breast meat. I need to do the same with this one now. So there we go. It's all prepped. Four fine pieces of meat. And let's show you what I'm going to get up to next. So what I've got here, I've got my pheasant. Just move that to one side for a second. All I've got here is just some water. Some sugar, a nice simple bit of sugar, and then technically what I want is about the same amount of salt, not too much salt. What I'm doing, if you haven't already guessed, is I'm starting curing process for these pheasant breasts. What I'll do is I'll leave them in this solution overnight. Have a little stir around. Get all mixed through, dissolved into water. Bit of sweetness, bit of sugar. Like I said, let them sit in this overnight now, and then they're gonna go get smoked. Now you, you sit them in salt and sugar solution and water based solution to start curing process and it makes some smoke easier. So I'll do now, hit my breasts and pop them in. Four great pieces of meat, gonna be absolutely fantastic when they're done. Not waste any of this, there's a few bits, I'll give them straggly bits to dog. And all I'll do, Lid on. That's all covered nice. That goes in the fridge now. I'll come back to you this time tomorrow. Right, two here we are, 24 hours later. Pleasant breast. Obviously been brining in salt, so first thing. Get to roll this fluid. Pour that down the sink, get rid of it. Don't need these bits of garlic, these bits of chilli. So all I'm gonna do is just pat them dry. One there. Two. Four. I'll get these little bits. That's it. So pat them dry and shift that to one side. You can see all that moisture coming out there. So these have been brining. So 
most of that. Right, I'll give that a minute. Let it soak a bit more of that moisture. I'll come back to you. All right, so that's in a minute or two. You can see. Well, let's transfer a little bit of paper. Oh, that's not paper. That's way a little bit of paper. I don't want that. A little bit of sinew here. Where it's salt, water, and water and sugar solution. Just took all that, <coughs> cover that. In. They've gone pretty, pretty plain now. I don't need that nitrous yet. Not perfect. Just give me a quick wash. It's sort of raw meat, not entirely, but so what are we doing? I'm just smoking these because they're going to be smoked over the barbecue. So, this is the way to do it something like this, or even like your Chinese takeaway foil carton, are ideal. Oak smoked wood chips, so I'm going to put roughly a cup, a cup and a half in there the rough guess and then what you need to do you need to get some heavy duty with tin foil I ain't got heavy duty with what I've got, what I've done is I've like double wrapped it and what I'm going to simply do put that over the top Seal down the sides, try to rip it, try to tear it. There we go, nice and sealed. And then all you want to do, just one simple hole at the top. Just one little hole like that, that's all you need. Now go and fight the barbecue up, put this on. Keep five minutes, as soon as you start seeing a little bit of smoke coming out of that one hole there, that vent hole, then it's good to put your pheasant on or your, your meat, whatever you're smoking. 10-15 minutes after that, that should be lovely and smoked and cured. Right, so I've got barbecue fire up. I've put them, that pan of wood chips on for well, like I said, five minutes. It should. They're starting to smoke, which will just give me enough time to prep what I'm doing here. But what I want, first off, a bit of mayonnaise. A Coleman's mustard. Simply get our mix. It all mixed through. So that's your mustard mayo. So what am I doing? <coughs> we know we smoke it pheasant breasts. Got me garlic mayo, uh, sorry, mustard mayo, couple of bagels, and then just a little bit of salad. I've actually got some kale to one side as well, so I'll get that. So we just want some slices of radish, not too thick, so a nice little bit of crunch. Now these are shop bought radish, but pleased to say I've got a little bit of veg in the garden. So I've got some radish growing, some carrots, 
uh, some peas and some potatoes so a little bit later into the year I'll be able to use some of my own produce and I expand on that next year obviously I think we're all being affected in some way shape or form by cost of living so it's a good way really to cut a few costs down if you grow your own little bits of veg I've got wild garlic growing in the garden I've got wild mint I think that's enough to be honest uh, but it's just a case of expanding on that slowly and uh, I don't know, even if it's just for a couple of months, provide for yourself. I feel it's a good thing to do. A couple of string onions. A nice, fresh summer salad, really. Spring onions and radish. Radish like a bit of pepper. Do that. A little bit stringy that bit. Beautiful smell coming from spring onions. That'll do. So, a couple of minutes later, let's say, I'll take you outside with me, show me putting these on barbecue, show you how I've got it all set up. And if you do fancy getting a go, you don't need a dedicated smoker. You can use this method. Majority of us are going to have barbecues. So if you do fancy smoking some meat and curing some meat, this is a really good way of doing it rather than investing in a smoker. So here we are. Should be able to see that from here. Got a bit too much heat now, so. You turn them two off. Generate the seat smoke coming from here, so let's not waste no time. Get these on here. Just turn these down a little bit now. this back down that smoke do its business and then we'll come back when it's ready right so this should just be about done now yep it's good enough for me that wood chips have burnt out no more smoke coming out they had to make all a little bit bigger get smoke out although I'll get them off now and get them back in the side so I've got a couple of Toasted bagels, done them. The pheasant, that's off now. It's been resting for a few minutes. But it's time to do, get all this together. Let's start with this. Nice hefty dollar for that. Get it all spread around. What? No reason to go easy on it. It's going to go straight through that hole. Let's put that back on the other minute. Yeah, that all spread around. With a fine helping on there. Make a lovely like garnish this lovely sauce. That's good. Again, oops. Sit them out of there. Now onto the pheasant. All I want to do with this is slice it. Beautifully cooked, still see moisture in it. It's quite fine. Put that to one side. And 
another piece. You can see how tender that is, how beautiful it's just coming away. And a better job of this one as well. Just look at one more piece. And all we're going to do is start building them up. So, all to one side. Take lids off bagels. Up a little bit of this first. Move that out of the way. That's it. Plenty of, plenty of care on. Have a little bit of pheasant. Let's not go easy. And then, last but not least, a little bit of spring on in here. Bit of radish. Get a little squash down. Let's not lose that spring on here. And there you go, look at that. Let's get a close up of that and we'll finish it off. Look at that, looks an absolute delight. Even as a mess on a chopping board, it could just be finger food. Absolutely beautiful. Right, only one thing to do really. Let's get that present back on there with that. Some of that radish on there as well. Get it slightly out of the way. That won't go to waste. That'll be finger food. Might even end up on another bagel a bit later on for my supper. So, all we got to do put these on top. Look at that. Once you've done that one upside down, let's flip it up. A little squeeze, get it together. And that is the finished article. There we go. Get a little close up. Oops, that won't fall apart. Put one like that for delight. Yeah, all good. Let's get a munch. See what that smoky flavour adds to it. Oh my word. Really good. I'll be going easy, yeah. Oh yeah, that mustard, fresh veg. You can taste that smokiness. You can taste chilli, taste mustard, no it's a delight on taste buds. This is a perfect summer's evening meal. Now I can't say this is my own idea, I've seen this uh, cat brain, kai brain, on the Field Sports Channel, obviously a well known game chef. Took the idea from him, thought I'd give it a go. I've showed you how simple it is, so please give it a try. Thanks for watching, <coughs> I meant way through these, and I'll see you next one.